One Reaction with Levy, and welcome back to the Daily One Reaction here on Tuesday, June 15th. And let's go over the games. Last night, we had the 76ers versus the Atlanta Hawks. It was a crazy game. 76ers up big early. Uh, I mean, they were up big. Embiid was killing them. And then all of a sudden, Bogdanovich keeps them in the game. Uh, Seth Curry's hitting shots, whatever. Then you head to the second half. John Collins revitalizes this Atlanta squad. Joel Embiid goes 0 for 5 from the field to start the third quarter. I mean, it was something of a huge momentum boost and something that we got to question about Embiid's health. Because you saw in the third and fourth quarter, he did not look like the same players in the second quarter. And that allowed Atlanta to get into it. I mean, Philly didn't hit their free throws. And all of a sudden, Trey Young did what Trey Young did because he all of a sudden became the best player on the court. And beats the best player on the court when he's healthy. He was not. And you can tell starting in that third quarter, it really affected that knee. That knee really affected him. He was tired. Uh, he was hurt. And it allowed Atlanta to crawl back in and win. And you got to look at it like this. The status of Joel Embiid, how healthy he is, will probably determine this series, in my opinion. I mean, when he's healthy, you saw it in Game 2, Game 3, they dominated. Game 4, he's not. In the second half, they don't. So I think that's the key for this series. You got to be impressed with Trey Young. Bogdan Bogdanovich coming in, saving the game in the first half. Obviously huge. Uh, Lou Williams hitting that big three at the end, but this this game was at, about Embiid. He was killing him in the second quarter, then all of a sudden things changed because he became fatigued and hurt. Next, we had the Jazz and the Clippers. Clippers won 118-104, and the athleticism, no Mike Conley, played a big role because the Jazz role players will not play as well outside their home, right? We know that, and that's what happened. You, you hold Mitchell a little bit, he had 37. Paul George, Kawhi Leonard played well, and then you get one of the Morris Jackson or Batum playing well. It was Morris this time with 24. Terrence Mann came in, plus 15, plus minus. He comes in, defends. So you got to be impressed with what the uh, Clippers are doing right now. Uh, they're, they're playing really good basketball. Head back to Game 5. Of course, the wild card in the series is the injury to Mike Conley. How does that affect the Jazz going forward? Does Can he come back in Game 5, give this Jazz team a little bit of boost? Because... Right now, it feels like the Clippers have a big edge right now, and things stay the same. But you got to be impressed with L.A. and how they've come back from 2-0 in multiple series. I don't care what team you're playing. You do that in multiple series, you got a lot of fight. Canadians, Golden Knights. Golden Knights won 4-1. It was pretty much a blowout. Flurry shined. That's the end of the story. It was tough for Montreal. They haven't played in the U.S. since March 7, 2020, let alone in front of a crowd that came in. They were a little rocked. It was 4-1 Vegas. So today, we got big games in the NHL and the NBA. Let's start in the NHL. We have the Islanders Lightning, Game 2 tonight. I think Lightning, this is kind of a big spot for you. You cannot go down 0-2 heading into the Nassau Coliseum. I think they win tonight. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see how the Lightning attack the Islanders' defense. Does Barzell use the confidence from Game 1 to get the Islanders another win? But I'm going to lean towards the Lightning tonight. This is a must-win, in my opinion, for them. Bucks nets Bucks favored by four. James Harden coming out today. We know Kyrie Irving is out. James Harden will test the hamstring, could play tonight in Game 5. And if he plays, that puts a lot, that puts a whole new twist on the series. It would be Harden and Durant. And I think if he's healthy, which I don't think he will be, they win. That's why the Bucks are minus four, because I don't think Vegas feels that he's healthy, per se. And you need production today. I think the key for the Nets, no matter if Harden plays or not, is going to be Joe Harris. Joe Harris needs to step up and make big shots. He hasn't done it all series. I want him stepping up here in Game 5 to give the Nets a chance. You need that other scorer. He could be that. I also think Shamit off the bench could be a big scorer as well. So the Nets need production from guys other than Durant because they're going to throw everything at Kevin Durant. And if you're Kevin Durant, you got to not get rattled by P.J. Tucker. I don't think he's going to get with that away with that many calls in this game. And you got to, and we also need to know the status of Blake Griffin. Can he? Because he's the only guy right now that can actually stand Giannis because he's the body type to do it. So that's going to be very interesting to see. I think the Nets have a shot tonight. Uh, I just think in that game, Kevin Durant was completely completely rattled. I don't think that happens again. I like, the, I like the Nets to really play well tonight, especially if Harden plays. So thank you guys for listening. One reaction with Levy the Daily. One reaction.